everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my Artsy Endeavors. Have fun! Hey everybody, Cindy Utter here. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to stay within our theme for the month and our theme is confetti bubbles and bling. And this is just going to be a real quick tutorial. I'm going to show you how to make a couple cute little tags and stay within it, um, within the theme. I've got a couple different things of little tiny balls here, Sam. They're like from Recollections. I've got a little thing of um, like glitterish stuff. I have a little plastic pocket, which we're going to use. I've got three tags. These are off clothes or whatever the case may be. So I've got them in three different sizes. And then I have um, just some random paper here with a little bit of blues. It's an old uh, paper bag. I have another piece of blue painted paper here. I have another piece here that's got some glitter on it. So there's some bling. So I'm going to be using some of that. Bubbles. I have this lovely bubble stamp. We're going to use that. This is um, a tray full of nail art goodies. So we're going to put a little bit of these in our pocket with our bling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get started and uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to gesso these cards and I will be right back. I'm going to gesso the tags I should say. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I wasn't thinking but you know what, I'm going to leave the gesso on there um, and I'm just going to turn them over so that their backs will be white, right? Because what I want to do is I want to do some modging of um, some of this paper that we got here on these tags. So I've just got glue with a big old black cat hair in it. See it? <laughs> Thanks Buster. Um, this is just plain old glue. It says glue and seal um, by Ink Essentials. I got it probably on a clearance rack somewhere. Uh, guessing Hobby Lobby. Um, I have whenever I find glue that's on a clearance rack I tend to nag it up because you can always use glue right all right so all I'm doing is I'm taking this craft paper and we're just gonna glue it down on these tags and one of the purposes for using these tags is I want you to use what you have on hand I want you to use you know reuse don't go out and buy something new just to make these tags that's not the whole purpose of this. We need to reuse what we have, right? So let me just finish putting these on here. I know they don't look very uh, confetti blingy or bubbly right now, but that's okay. Whoops. That side's white. All right. But they will. Okay, I'll let you use some of this blue. Just want to put a piece of blue here. And again, I'm just using what I have. Um, you know, we don't need anything special for this. This is just a little bonus video for you. I don't like the way that's going around that eyelet, so I'm just going to take it off and re-glue it just like that doesn't matter at the top we're going to be using all kinds of washi tapes and paints and that kind of stuff so there's a little bit of white there showing that's fine there's a little bit of white here showing that's fine I do want a bit more blue on these though so let's throw this down here there's some blue and let's put a little bit more blue over here a piece of blue here, maybe. Let's throw some blue right down here in this corner. Okay. Alright, these I'm going to dry up, and then we're going to trim around them, and we'll keep going. We'll be right back. Alright, you guys are going to think I'm crazy, but I'm going to try something. I've got some glitter here. And what I want to do is I want to take my bubble stamp that I have and I'm going to use that same glue that I was just using and I'm going to stamp in glue on these tags 
and then put glitter over them. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to take this. This is my bubble stamp. I'm just going to... I know you're like, what are you doing? Oh well, having fun. I'm going to put glue on this, and I'll clean this all off. No big deal. So I'm going to glue it. I want to stamp it here. And what I'm hoping this will do is put a stamp of bubbles in there in the glue and then I can take this glitter it works it works I see I have a lot of glitter in other places too that must be from the other glue look at that take some of this off I'm having a lot more um, glitter on here because that's where I actually, the card was not all the way dry. But look at that. Cool! Alright, let me do this to the other two. Oops. Same thing, I'm just going to use a little bit of the glue. It's still wet. Let's do it like this across. And then I'm just going to pick up what's in here for glitter. glitter bubbles. <laughs> I know I have glitter on this and I got glitter on everything else now. Go find glitter for a week now. Alright, let's do it on this card. This one we're going to do maybe a little bit here, a little bit up here. Lay it on our tray. Put some glitter on it. Now another way you could do this is you could actually do this with embossing powders. Um, use your Versa ink pad and take your um, take a stamp, stamp it with your Versa ink pad, stamp it onto your tag, and then do the same thing. You put the embossing powder down over the wet stamp or the wet glue, and once you do that you put on your embossing powder and then you can um, heat it up and there it is so we have some glue bubbles let me put this stuff up and we'll keep going okay guys here's my thoughts I'm letting these dry and I got out this little nail art thing and it's got see all these little tiny there's little stars there's hearts there's just little um, little blings. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bag, baggie that I got, and I'm going to stick this stuff in here, all of it, and we're going to have confetti. All right, let me put the rest of this stuff in here. There's a little kitty cat. There's all kinds of neat little things in there. So there's that stuff from the nail art. Now I'm going to take um, a few of these and a few of these. These are those uh, recollections. This is called a peacock color. So I'm going to put some of these in here. Woo! Wow, they come out quick. Don't have to put very many of them in there. Look! We have confetti! <laughs> well, there's a lot of those in there now. All right, what else do we want to put in here? I do think, I'm not going to put any of that silver in. Ah, oh, yeah, what the heck. Let's put in a little bit. Not as many of the peacock ones, though. We'll just put a little bit in. There we go. And I want to take a little bit of this, which is like a, a bigger size glitter, only it's like a foil type. I don't know what the name of it is. If you know, please leave it in the comments below because I don't know. Um, see, it's like a, I don't know, it's like a tore up glitter. It's just not as small as the regular glitter. So we're going to put some of that in here. Put 
because this is all about sparkly and blingy and so this is what we have okay all right we're gonna use this on our tags so let me we gotta find some washi tape I want to get some some tape that's gonna hold this shut oh look at what we have right here it's not washi tape that's a ribbon we don't need a ribbon we need a washi tape There's glitter on a roll. I wonder if this is sticky. Open, open, see. Yeah, this is sticky. Oh, that's not going to hold it, though. All right, let me get some washi tape, and I'll be right back, and we'll close that up. All right, so I found my washi tape. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this pocket a lot smaller because we're not going to put that big on a tag. I just have to make sure all the stuff stays down and the static cling doesn't bring it to the top like it is there. All right. I'm just going to cut it off and we'll deal with it. So I'm going to make it about that wide. See? Okay. And I'm going to lay it down. I'm going to take this washi tape which is sticky. It's not, it, I don't know if it's really a washi tape. It's more of a glitter ribbon, but it has a sticky back to it. Maybe a sticky tape. I don't know. And we're going to take this, and we're going to just push it down there. And flip it over to the other side, and we're going to seal it. Okay. Okay. So now our little confetti bag is sealed. I'm going to cut off the edges here just so that they don't stick out. There is a hole in this right there, so I'm actually going to put that on the tag. So here's our little confetti bag. Yay, confetti! It's a parade! All right, so our confetti bag is going to go on here. Before I do that, though, we need to do some more work on these tags. I know it's all about bling and um, that kind of stuff, so I really want to put some stamping on here, but <laughs> let me think about this for a minute. All right, we're going to start out with the big tag, and we're going to start putting these together. Uh, this is a Tim Holtz um, Distress Ink, and I'm just going to go around the outsides and any of the white that's showing just to kind of give it that blue. I'm using, um, this one is called Chipped Sapphire. Just to kind of give it that finished look. So we'll do that. And I'm noticing this has all rounded corners except for here. So what we need to do, grab this corner rounder. And we are going to round this one so that it matches the rest of them. There we go. Alright. Take this one. And I know I'm getting glitter in my ink pad, but that's alright. I'm going to have glitter on me for days after doing these. Alright, so let's just keep these together. Alright. some of the glitter and the ink. Okay. Now the back one, this is the back tag, this is going to be on. Now I'm not going to, I'm not going to attach this as far as gluing it down, um, but I am, I'm just going to leave it right there. We're actually going to use uh, bread to put all these together. So we've got our bubbles. Let's add a little bit of bling to this. This is another one of, this is called Bling on a Roll by Recollections. Okay. 
And I thought these were kind of pretty. So we'll put these right along the bottom. Just a little star. Okay. Gotta get it straight. It's cockeyed. Alright, so we're gonna put that there. This guy's gonna go right here. Alright, this one, what we're going to do is I have this stuff here. I'm not really sure. Again, I don't know what you call this. It's not really confetti. Um, it's just little metallic pieces of stuff. So what we're going to do, we're going to take some glue. And this one, we're just going to play around with some of these. Here's a snowflake. Um, this glue that's in this bottle is just plain old Elmer's glue, school glue. I just happen to put it in a fine liner so I can do small controlled um, glue spots. Here's a little blue teddy bear. We'll add him on. So we're just going to add some bling to this. Just some pretty things. Here's a little blue flower. Come here. Oops. So we're going to throw this on here. I like that. We'll get another one. This one's a little bit different color blue. It's a greenish blue. Let's find something else. Here's another one. I like these. these are, oh, here's a blue butterfly. Let's put that down. Oops. <laughs> Come off there. All right, so there's a blue butterfly. So we've just got a little bit of bling that we put on that one. We'll let that dry. Now this front one, uh, what I want to put on here is, everybody has pretty much chosen a word for the year, and I have not up to this point. And while I was sitting here doing these, I thought, hmm. This is going to be my word for the year. My word for the year is going to be play. There's one. There's a P-L-A-Y. And I need to cut off uh, as soon as I can find what to cut it off with. Hold on. All right, had to get my wire cutters out. Um, I'm going to take these tops off. This was... I don't know, a plastic set of letters I got somewhere along the line. So I'm just going to take those off because we're going to glue these all on here. Woo! Incoming. <laughs> I don't know where that went to, but... Okay, there's an L and a Y. Let me cut these little pieces off here. There we go. And we'll cut the top off the A. All right, so play. And like I said, we are going to glue these down. Same thing, school glue. my word. I'm not going to put them on there straight. I want them kind of cockeyed because you know when you play you don't have to do everything perfect. You just play, right? It doesn't have to be straight and in line and pardon my hubby, he's coughing. <laughs> Alright, there is play. Now, let me get these dry, get all the glue dry, and then what we're going to do is we're going to come back and we're going to finish putting them together. I'll be back. Okay, so originally I was thinking I was going to put them all together and then um, just hang them in my journal. <coughs> Pardon. <coughs> Pardon me, my art journal. But instead, what I'm going to do is I am going to keep them individually. Now what I've done is I've poked a hole in this plastic thing right here on this corner 
and then I've poked a bigger hole in the tag here on this corner. And this one, I found these fibers in my, my basket. So now this one is just going to be like that. Okay, and I'm just going to tie these. Talk about bling and sparkly and bubbles and blah, 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 blah. It's all here. Oops, forgot my other one. Go in there. You? All right. So here's our little package of confetti with our little tag, which has got our bubbles and bling. Okay, so there's that one. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you how I'm going to use these in my journal. So there's one. This one. Um, it already had a hole there, so I am actually just going to put in some of this string, string yarn, not sure what you want to call it. It's actually like a little skinny yarn. If I can get it in here. Come on. go. So that's just going to be a small one there. And then the third one I'm not, I did not punch a hole in and I don't intend to because this one's actually going to be glued down. So this concludes this cute little tutorial for three little tags. And again we've got bling bubbles and confetti. So I hope you guys enjoy. We'll chat soon. Bye. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.